So most government uh, entered into the fight against this pandemic without knowing uh, what uh, it is exactly. So there was a massive lack of data, inevitably. Uh, but as time goes by, you can improve. And you must improve for two reasons. One is public health. You need to know who is affected, who is immune, who is susceptible of getting the infection. And that is not known. The second reason is uh, to prepare for the lifting, the gradual lifting of the lockdown. You want to know what is the risk you're going to take if you start lifting uh, lockdown. So for all these reasons, we need so much better data. The best way to get data is uh, randomized testing on a large scale, on, on a massive scale, both actually for people to know who is immune and who is dangerous, who is susceptible of uh, infecting the others. But the problem to conduct uh, this test is the scarcity of tests. There are alternative possibilities, and one possibility is to conduct surveys. Uh, there are no technical constraints to that. Ask people about the symptoms and do it on a large scale before people show up in hospitals to get some knowledge of what the situation on the ground in the various places. And that could be done in a continuous way to see how the disease evolves, how the situation evolves, and to learn better uh, what the predictability of the result of actual tests through such surveys. The priority is to understand better what are the parameters, what are the true parameters of this pandemic. And they are known with a significant lack of precision at present. So the more you, you, you're getting data, the more you're getting granular data, the better you know. Uh, and the better you know your enemy, the better you, you can fight uh, an enemy. That's as simple as that.